Okay, today I'll answer the question of, as a student, does reading my notes over loudly to myself aid in memory of the subject matter I'm studying? Now, this is a good question. Hi, I'm Alec Delancey, psychologist. Now, students tend to use many different study techniques or strategies when trying to memorize information, trying to learn new stuff. And granted, I could understand that, obviously. If you're a student, you will have exams or quizzes, and you want to be able to do your very best in them. And in so saying, it means that you want to be able to get the information in your head and be able to retrieve it when you are asked on the quiz or the exam. Now, these study techniques that many students use, or at least the one involving just reading your notes over and over, um, does it work? Well, it may actually work to some extent, but um, sometimes the study techniques that we use, for example, this matter of reading your notes over and over, uh, may not actually be the most effective one to use. A matter of fact, this study technique of reading one's notes just over and over like a poem, it could actually be detrimental to your grades. So, reading over the notes again and again and again, uh, what it does is that it creates some kind of false sense of knowledge. So, it's like illusion of knowledge. So, you may feel that you understand or you know what the subject matter is because you may have read over the textbook chapter or the notes that you took you may have read it over a uh, quite a number of times maybe three four five times and uh, it could really make you feel as okay i'm ready for this exam i'm ready to go in and do this quiz now this matter of reading over your notes um it's not all bad but it's not the final study technique you should use a matter of fact it could be considered as a pre-studying technique. So before you actually study something, you try to get the sense or the understanding of what you're about to study. So you may read over the chapter maybe a couple of times or so, just to probably look at one or two words or phrases, maybe uh, go through the subtopics. Maybe there are some words or phrases highlighted in the body of um, the textbook or maybe you may have highlighted one or two notes one or two words that you want to to remember or the teacher may have or the professor or the lecturer may have said remember these words so you highlight them but just reading over the notes again and again is not really the most effective way to help you to learn to help you to recall information a matter of fact what could happen is that you walk into the exam but you didn't prepare answering questions. So while in the exam you are given questions, it can throw you off completely because you're trying to search your memory to see, okay, which part of the notes might be the answer to this particular question. So you don't want to, to just feel that you prepare for the exam by just reading over your notes. So the question is, therefore, what can you do if not just read over your notes again and again? What can you do? Well, these are some of the strategies that I use, some of these techniques that I use when I was studying in undergrad or grad school. And I think I did pretty good. So these are strategies or techniques that you can no doubt use and have success in your educational pursuits, in your learning, in your uh, passing of your exams and so forth. So to really check to see if you understand a subject matter, you can explain it to somebody else. So you want to explain it as simple as possible. So you can probably think about you talking to someone who has little to no idea about the subject matter that you're talking to them about. So you find somebody, it could be a friend, a uh, family member, um, even your own classmates too, if you don't have someone else that you can, can get. And you explain the subject to them. And uh, 
you don't just read it obviously from the textbook or from the notes that you took to them but you try to explain it right you try to actively explain it to them so that um they can get a sense of what you are really trying to to say to them so that's what you do you explain it to them in very simple terms maybe when you first start off you may be using some jargons so the jargons you might be using will be words that you know from the textbook or from the notes but as you continue to explain it to them try to use words or put it in your own words uh, very simply so that you can really make it your own using maybe the dialect that you speak so that that individual could really get the sense of what you're trying to explain to them and that will help you to check your understanding of the subject matter another thing you can do is you can speak out loud to an empty room so um, you can you don't have somebody to talk the information over with or to present it to them you can just stay in a room maybe it's your bedroom maybe you go to um, an empty classroom um, don't do it in the library I mean especially other students are studying there you won't want to do it in the library but do it in a room where maybe it's just an open room and uh, you're not going to be bothering anybody and you can just present the information as though you are the lecturer or you are the professor or you are the, the, the teacher and uh, you just present the information uh, another thing that I used to do is I used to imagine that I, I was actually the professor or the lecturer or the teacher I used to think about the gestures that they will make think about how they will move around the room um, whether or not they will lean on the desk they will um, sit down they will um, fall across their legs or whatever they may have done maybe fold their arms I try to imagine myself as though I was this particular teacher uh, teaching the subject matter and uh, what I found is that it really helped me to solidify in my mind exactly um, what the content was about what the subject matter was all about and it helped me better than just reading over notes again and again and again now there are many many different strategies or techniques that students can use this was just one i chose to highlight to you that is not just reading over your notes but actually presenting it to someone or presenting it in an empty room um, using the techniques or the 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 strategy of imagining yourself as the teacher as the presenter moving around the room using gestures or probably even having some small notes that you can follow or present to the empty room or to present to your, your friend or your family member so I think this will help you to identify also gaps in your understanding and the more you explain it to someone or to talk it through you will recognize what you know and what you don't know and this will help you to develop your thinking ability thinking your ideas around the subject matter so I hope that this content brought you some value uh, like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.